Hi guys, um, let's try to solve the quadratic equation method, uh, quadratic equation using the quadratic formula method. Okay, so this, um, this quadratic formula is usually provided during your exam, okay, but only this will be provided, okay, so you need to remember that A is actually the first co coefficient, B is the coefficient of x and C is the constant. Okay, so for example, this question here we want to solve 3x squared minus 7x minus 1 using the quadratic formula. You are saying for this question, we can't really use that table method that I talked about because one, right, if you want to use the table method, it's not easy, it's in fact impossible because. If you do it, okay, this is 3x squared, right? Then I have 1 here and I have 7x. No matter what you do, 1 is 1, 1, right? No matter what you do, you can never get 7x here. If you add 3x plus x, you never get 7x. So that method is not possible, okay? So what we want to do is that we want to use the quadratic formula to solve it, okay? So how do we use a quadratic formula? So we need to identify which are the a, b's, and c, right? So the a is 3, b is minus 7. You have to be very careful about this, okay? Because this is minus 7. Do not put 7, okay? c is equal to minus 1, okay? So let's fill in. It's like fill in the blanks, okay? So now we want to fill in the blanks using this formula here okay minus b so b is minus 7 so i have minus bracket minus b which is minus 7 okay this is important then b square is minus 7 square 4 a is 3 so 3 and then c is minus 1 okay c is minus 1 okay then Take your time, okay? You want to simplify whatever in this square root first, okay? Do it step by step. So you put into your calculator, okay, 49 minus 4, 3, minus 1. So it's plus 12, right? So what you get is square root 61, okay? Then minus minus 7 is plus positive 7 okay sorry oops not because do have a plus minus here okay and then 6 so you got a plus minus means that there are two answers okay what we want to do is write out the two answers so 7 plus square root 61 divided by 6 or x equals to 7 minus square root 61 divided by 6. Okay, these are the two answers. So what you realize after you put into your calculator, okay, you get this is x equals to 2.47 and then you get this x equals to minus 0 0.135. I, I've left it in three significant figure. Okay. Yes. F. It's always good to Right, how many significant figure this is. Okay, as a way to remind yourself, if the question did not tell you to leave the answers in three significant figure, okay, uh, you have to check um, in your ex what your exam needs. Okay, so if, if they want you to leave your answers in three significant figure, you leave it in three significant figure. If they want you to leave it in one decimal place, you have to leave it in one decimal place. Otherwise, I'm sure marks will be deducted, okay? And so please be really careful, okay? So I hope uh, this question has, will help you to understand more on how to use this quadrat 